your mom. Yo, Junior, what's up? I was wondering if you No! Were... You didn't let me finish. I'm sorry, son, what is it? What do you need? What, what, what? Can I have $35 to go to a rap concert Saturday night? No! Oh, come on, Ma! Hey, you want to appeal my decision? Take it to the higher court. Bye, Junior. Oh, come on, Dad. You own an entire fleet of delivery trucks. We got money. No, I got money. <laughs> You're broke. <laughs> All right, what's the name of this rapper you got to see so bad? MC Murder Death. But it's not what you think. <laughs> what did I think? You know that he's negative and preaches about violence and stuff. Oh, no, that didn't cross my mind. When I hear a name like MC Murder Death, I think, here's a positive young role model, giving back to the community. <laughs> What's the name of his big hit? Bullet to the Brain. <laughs> That's right. I'll tell you what you can do, son. What? You can clean up your room, you can pull up those pants and decide on which one of them hats you're gonna wear. <laughs> well, where you going, mosquito breath? Shut up, dork. Oh, you smell like feet. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Hey, 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 hey. Y'all keep it up, I'll make you kiss on the mouth. You try to take my bucks, I line them up like ducks. Pull out my gat and I start the buck. Cause I'm MC Murder Death and I don't give a... <laughs> cluck. What I tell you about listening to all that cussing? Dad, all the music has cursing. No, Marvin Gaye didn't curse. Except maybe when his father shot him. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, oh, yeah. Is this me? Well, sort of. It looks like me. <laughs> Got the same little ears and the funny eyes. I didn't know the top of my head was so pointy. <laughs> and when did I start growing horns, son? Dad, it's a caricature. Well, you know what? This is actually pretty good. You're not mad? No, this shows real talent. You know, you might even want to reconsider your dream. You mean from working at Foot Locker? <laughs> yeah, that one. But, Dad, those guys get 15% off. I know, but if you own the store, you get 100% off. For real? For real. Oh, check it out. What? My mustache is coming in. Get out of here. Wow, look at this. <laughs> you know, in a couple of years, that might start looking like some real hair. Dad, I got real hair growing all over. Look at this. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. no. I found this card in your pants pocket it's from a tattoo parlor. Did you think it could have been one of my friends? Yeah, for a quick second, and then I put that out my head. <laughs> now, I'm gonna ask you, did you get a tattoo or not? No, I did not get a tattoo. I mean, God, I cannot walk into a room without getting accused of something. And why are you going through my stuff anyway? Because it was dirty, and I'll stop going through your stuff if you want to do your own laundry. No, that's OK. That's what I thought. <laughs> Junior, get down here. What's up? Don't oh, what's up my butt. How many times I tell you not to mess with my stereo? Oh, 652. Then why'd you do it? I didn't. I've got my own stereo. You know what? Somebody was messing with my stereo, and I'm going to find out who did it. Well, if there's anything I can do, Dad, you let me know. <laughs> Speaking of which, hey, hey, son, why don't we go play some basketball? I'll be shirts and you be skins. Dad, if we're playing one-on-one, -on -one, I think we can tell each other apart. Yeah, you're right. Why don't you do like this for me? Woo! Why? I just want to see your navel. Go ahead, just go woo! Come on, we don't do any father-son stuff anymore. Come on, let's, let's go take a shower together. Hey, you're starting to freak me out. Starting to make me a little nervous there, too, Michael. <laughs> I, I just want to spend some quality time with my son. Oh, see what's going dang. on. Oh. What? <laughs> Come on. Come on stop it. Junior? I got a couple of tattoos. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. No, no. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> and what's the rest of the foolishness? That's knowledge in Japanese. Do you speak Japanese? No. Do you read Japanese? No. Then how do you know it doesn't say spicy tuna roll? <laughs> and you know what really got me upset? Is the fact that you looked us in the eye and you said, I don't have a tattoo. No, I looked mom in the eye and said no. 
And as you just saw, I don't have a tattoo. I have two tattoos. Thank you, Mr. Bill Clinton. Hey, Dad, check it out. Working on my form. How does that look? Looks like you're trying to annoy me. What are you talking about? Are you still mad about the tattoos? No, but the next time you want to mark up your body, come to me. I'll do it for you. No, that'll be a repercussion. <laughs> you lied to me, and that just doesn't go away. I know you think I messed up, Dad, but I did this to feel like my own person. I think they're cool. And the way I look at it is, it's my body, and I can do what I want with it. No, as long as your body is in my house, your body has to abide by my rules. I didn't violate any rules, Dad. You never said anything about not getting a tattoo. Yeah, and I never said anything about owning a gun, or eating fire, or peeing in a toaster. <laughs> this is about principle. Wipe the slate clean. Start from scratch. Deal? Deal. Come here. I ain't ready to let go yet. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? Both. Eventually, we'll both starve. Let's go get some cookies and water. you're doing with my guitar mom gave it to me she said it was junk from the closet well it's not junk it's mine well can i play it uh, apparently not <laughs> i mean i met him in my art class and he seems to be a really cool guy he may be cool but he's tone deaf <laughs> hey before you criticize take a look at the man in the mirror yeah. well you look like a gay insect <laughs> well i got a little inspiration Right here. What are you doing, man? You can't break a joint in my house. My dad will kill me. Well, then let's get rid of it. How? <laughs> Best way is to burn it. I don't know, Tommy. Look, all the greats use this stuff. Your dad talked about Jimmy. Jimmy was so high, he kissed the sky. <laughs> Bob Marley, all the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, Snoop and Dre. Clinton. <laughs> You want to unlock your mind, this is the key. Check you guys later. <laughs> Them fools are stoned. Someone's at the door. Junior, could you please see who that is? You hear the door, boy? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll help. What did you give me, man? Things are starting to get weird. Tell me about it. This stuff must be stronger than I thought. That's not your mother right there. You know your mother when you see her. Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. Now give her a hug. Give your mother a hug. A big hug. Now kiss. Kiss your mother. Don't put no tongue in your mother's mouth. You had a headache. Yeah. <laughs> I had a tough night. Yeah, you know, I wrote a song about that. 
Wanna hear it? Here it go. <laughs> My son got hold of a reefer last night. <laughs> I don't know whether to hit him with the left or right. <laughs> he probably thought daddy wouldn't care. But if you do it again, my oldest kid gonna be Claire. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. No, I just wanted to expand my mind. I wanted to be like Hendrix. Well, you know what? Hendrix is dead. Try to be like someone who's alive. And not Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> but then everybody I know has tried it. Son, the world is full of people doing stupid things. And they try to justify it, like, dude, you know, this is like natural. The weed is from the earth. It's, it's like, it's like raisins and apples and pumpkin seeds, except you smoke it. <laughs> Talk to me. When you're thinking about doing something stupid, come to your father, okay? I don't want to lose you to drugs or anything else. Okay. I'll tell you one thing. I never smoke dope again. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I hated it. Things kept changing, and, and, and you were in slow motion, and, and I couldn't talk, I couldn't hear, and it was terrifying. Wow. I hear that happens every time you do it. <laughs> wow. And then it gets weirder and weirder. Oh, man. Yep. Sometimes the effects of... You go, you get go. Ready. I was born ready. Watch this. What's all that jazz? That's that's too much energy you expended. All you gotta do is dribble twice and then shoot. Set shot. See that? That works. Dad, that's old school. Two dribbles and a shot doesn't get you on Sports Center. No, but it makes it on the scoreboard. Come on, let's play a game. You you really want to play me in that outfit? What's wrong with it? Dad, look at your shirt. I can see your heart beating. This Where'd you get the shorts from, Katie? <laughs> That's one for me, zero for you. You might want to check your panties, because I'm about to take you to the rack. Come on, just stop this trash talking, and let's go play this game. <laughs> That's two for Junior, zero for Huggy Boy. You sure you want to do this? Just play the game. I don't, I'm telling you, just play the game. All uh, right, you ain't going to get my hey. That's cheap. Get the ball, old man. That's cheap. Come on. Oh, yeah! Whoa! Guess what? I just beat Dad. Oh, I got to tell everybody I know. <laughs> beat him? I beat him like a drum, Mom. Oh, well, congratulations. You know, your father used to be the bomb back in the day. Yeah, he let me in on all that. And buckweed and alfalfa and spanky. He even told me about showtime. But you know what? It's junior time now. Junior, Junior. Where are my cheerleaders? Oh, junior, 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 Junior. Michael, Michael, back, back. All right, jump teacher. You know what? Out on the court, you can talk trash. But in this house, you take out trash. That's what I want you to do. And then go clean your room. What? You heard me. And you know what? You gonna question my authority, wash all the windows around the house. Yeah, well, I still beat you, old man. And you know what? I want you to cut the grass with scissors, one blade at a time. You finish your room? Yes, sir. You finish washing all the windows around the house? Yes, sir. Is he messing with me? Yes, sir. I'm done. No, you're done when I say you're done. No, you're punishing me for beating you, and it's not right. I'm not going to do it. Oh, really? And where you gonna be staying while you not doing it? What's the new address? You can't tell me what to do anymore. Oh, you a man now? You got three hairs in your drawers and you think you tough? <laughs> I'm man enough to beat you one-on-one. -on -one. You better be talking about basketball. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Well, why don't you pick which direction you wanna fuck about to knock in your little butt? Whoa, 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 There will be no fighting in this house. Michael, I need you. 
Oh, Dad. Huh? Mr. Spot. Where? God. Who's doing laundry? Oh, Dad's washing my gym clothes. Really? In that case, can you get him to hand wash my nylon? <laughs> hey, Benson! <laughs> I got a stack of nylons for you next. Yes, sir, Mr. Junior, sir. <laughs> All right. I lost the bet fair and square. What do I have to do? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to do, huh? <laughs> Look at the superstar. <laughs> well, you got your mother's leg. Do I really have to wear this? Yes, that was the deal. A deal's a deal. But have my butt's hanging out. No, that's why they call it showtime. <laughs> Don't you knock? I mean, what if I had a girl in here? There'd have to be a lamp and a genie in here, too. <laughs> hey, that wouldn't happen to be your report card, would it? Um, how long were you standing there? For... for... forgery? That long, huh? What do you want? Mmm... How about your Cisco CD? Do we have a deal? Yes. For now. <laughs> They're great. What's the big deal? Lots of kids get an A in algebra. Oh, we don't care about other kids. We care about you. And we're gonna let the world know how proud of you we are. For he's a jolly good mathematician. For he's a jolly good mathematician. For he's a jolly good mathematician. Which nobody can deny. They can't deny it, can they? <laughs> no knocking. Note it again. Hey, I just came to congratulate you. It looks like you're actually pulling this off. That's right. Cause I'm the man, the Master J, the one who got an A. Now, can you go away? <laughs> well, first off, I need you to get a chauffeur's hat. Why is that? Because you're going to be driving soon, and there are places I need to be. <laughs> what else? Oh, and there's something Santa forgot to bring me last year for Christmas. What's that? Your cell phone. <laughs> is that it? No. I need you to sign this. What is this? It's an organ donor card. <laughs> In case I ever need a kidney. I'm going to need your suede jacket. Oh, no! You can have a kidney, but my jacket? <laughs> Are you sure? Because I'm going to need something to cover this. My brother really got an F in algebra? <laughs> Those are the year and numbers for my company, and they're very complex. It took five accountants to get them this far. We had six, but one of them had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Poor Murray. So what's this got to do with me? Well, there are discrepancies. And with your A in algebra, I figured you're the only one I can trust now. I mean, you're family, so I know you wouldn't lie to me. <laughs> and so, where are the reports? Done and done. You were right, though. There were some discrepancies. See, check the amortization on item 14. Almost missed it. Probably be worse than Murray over the edge. <laughs> well, I'm running a tad late for school. Love you both. Ciao. <laughs> hey. Hey. So, what did you rent? Oh, you're gonna love this. It's called Liar Liar. <laughs> Didn't we already see that? Yeah, but I figured we'd watch it again. I guess after tonight, we'll have seen Liar Liar. Liar Liar. <laughs> liar Liar it is. Junior, will you carry me up? What? Well, I'm so tired, and there's one, two. I can't even count how many stairs. You tell me, Junior. You're the one who's so good at math. Hop <laughs> on! Oh, isn't that sweet? Listen, you know I was thinking last night. Do you know that you are the first male in the Kyle family to crack the mystery known as algebra? Is that right? Well, that ought to translate to an increase in my allowance. I want you to take the square root of your $10 and multiply that by, let's say, 14.5%, which you know is going to give you X. <laughs> and then I want you to divide that by pi. Now. What would that be, my little rain man? 
That would be great, Dad. Good. A 15 cents increase. 15 cents? This is my favorite chair. I want you to stand in my favorite chair. What? Tell us what it's like to get in it. Well, well, hold on a second. What would this A party be without the man who gave you the grade? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Griggler, Michael's algebra teacher's here. How you feeling? Well, that line took a lot out of me. That's right. So what did you learn from this? To only use my evil genius for good. <laughs> and what else? Never mess with the superior intelligence. That's <laughs> what I want to hear. So you ready? You know my car is? Yes, sir. OK, baby, I love you. I'll see you later. OK, have a nice day. <clears throat>